Hello everybody, um, today I am going to show you an updated version of my dolphin emulator mode for closed stuff that does not need to run when dolphin is open dot bat. Uh, as you can see I have gotten rid of all my icons on the desktop and you can see right here it's disabled. Don't have me en enable it, it's awful. Like. Icons here, 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 all the way over to like here, and here, and here, and like that, and then a few icons in the center, and it's just awful. Anyway, I read something online that says that if you're going to record your desktop, you should make sure that you don't have any icons on it generally, because otherwise people will think, yuck, that's gross, um, or whatever. I'm running, uh, open broadcast software by the way um anyway here is my new version of it yay uh whoop um close stuff that close stuff that does not need to run when playing on dolphin.bat nope bad if you could tell what i was trying to get at there then post it in the comments um, I actually wasn't trying to do that, but anyway, um, as the, the last version had these, classic start menu, Google Drive Sync, iTunes Helper, iTunes EXE, uh, Network Indicator, uh, Network Indicator, that's not something that's inst on, installed on Windows by default, it's something called, uh, Um, unless it's in my startup folder, I, I, I know I need to actually work on the video, but I'm trying to show you what it is. Uh, no, I don't have it. Um, basically what it is, is it makes it, it's like a, um, the, it brings the Windows XP two monitors icon back or forward to Windows 7. Windows 7, all they have is a little um, mobile phone tower bars thing for the Wi-Fi. But I, I like the interface of the old one. Um, so I may or I might not uh, put a picture on the screen. I, I hope I do, but if I don't, then oh, oh. maybe I'll actually do a video on that sometime. Um, SD trace by that search and destroy. It's that takes a lot of RAM. Uh, you can you can remove any of these lines if you don't want that software to close when you run this, or you can add your own lines. Like copy this line, paste it, change the name of the application to cmd.exe. Do not do that because this runs in command prompt. So I don't know. And it closes when it's done, so I don't know what happened at that point. Um, WMP network, Windows Media Player network server, I'm assuming. SpyBot update service, it doesn't update automatically when if you have a uh, version of it that's not paid, the free version. iCloud services.exe, I actually don't think I need this in here anymore. I got rid of iCloud. Um, iCloud.exe, I got rid of it, so... MSO Sync, Microsoft Office Sync, that exe. I don't use it. Um, unchecky gets rid of checkboxes and installers. Uh, OneNote M, OneNote M dot exe. Um, I use OneNote a little, not that often. Um, OneNote M. I'm assuming that's the quick launcher for it. So. Let's check to make sure this is, uh, there, still recording, okay, um, oh, four minutes, okay, um, OneNote M.exe, I might, I might keep this up, but just switch to, um, switch to Notepad, um, where was I, oh yeah, OneNote M. That's the OneNote Quick Launcher, which isn't 
I don't really use that. If I want to open OneNote, I go to Start Menu, type OneNote, and then hit Enter. iPodService.exe. Um, I have no use. Uh, the only reason why I have I, iTunes installed on here is because my mom has an iPhone. And um, once her contract is up on that, she's actually going to get a Windows phone instead. Um, they're, they're really good. Uh, if you don't care about any applications, buy one. Get a Nokia if possible. Um, but don't get one through Verizon. They're awful. Um, AT&T is okay. I mean, AT&T is really good with stuff in the U.S. Uh, with Windows Phone, but, um, T-Mobile is okay, but try to get one on AT&T. They're cheaper than Verizon. Um, uh, SD update. Oh, those are... I wonder why I have both of those in there. I must have discovered that in Task Manager. In Task Manager. By the way, you can actually see what applications are running in here. See, you can see all these, and and then you can Control Shift Escape or Control Alt Delete, and then hit Task Manager. Or an XP that's an XP, that would be control delete and it opens task manager, but Windows 7, probably Vista and above. I don't use Vista at all. Um, but yeah, above that and uses this. Uh, there are some processes that I don't want to close because I don't know what would happen to it. Uh, like that one, HP message service and... Uh, HP OSD on-screen display. I don't want to close those, and especially Catalyst Control Center. That would not be good. I don't know what would happen to that if I did that. Oh, sorry, it's already seven minutes. This was supposed to be a quick update on my application. Oh, by the way, if you're on XP, um, sorry if I'm talking too fast, but if you're on Windows XP, um, you probably have heard that Microsoft dropped support for it, and... Dolphin dropped support for XP and 32-bit Windows. So you should get um, a computer with 64-bit and Windows 7 at least if you want. Um, if you want to get the new versions of Dolphin. Uh, they're free, obviously, but um, they're free applications. I'm just moving this just so that there's stuff going on on the screen. Um, but anyway... Uh, or you can get Linux, you know, Linux. It's available for Linux. It's a little confusing, but it's available for that too. So uh, anyway, sdupdate.exe, VMware, authd.exe. I don't know what that does. I have VMware on my computer. I'm going to assume that it's a VMware. I'm going to assume that it's a VMware um, process. Authorization. And I'm going to assume it's a daemon of some sort that stores your stuff or something. Opera auto update.exe. I don't really use Opera much anymore. I used Opera 12.16 just because it's not Chrome because I didn't like Google for a while uh, because of spying and stuff. But I have add ons for that. Um, Apple Mobile Device Service.exe. Oh, and by the way, iTunes is so awful when it opens. It takes forever, five minutes or so, to get from actually fully opening to the iPhone and backup screen. Yeah, launcher.exe, that's an Opera application. So if you want to make your own one, say, like, right-click, copy, enter, paste app.exe um, I don't think I have anything running on here that's app.exe though but um, you can just do this oh and by the way if you're running Linux this won't work because it's a .bat file and it's 
windows. I'm I'm pretty sure that uh, well, you can take out any of these if you use iTunes. Sorry about what I said with that, but if you use iTunes or iCloud services or um, SD update, if you have any of those running and you need those, take that line out. Just take that line out and then save it. Um, and you can add whatever you want to it. And um, I am going to open this actually in um, in the command prompt. Can I pause this? Can I pause this? Uh, I don't know. Just now, if you did not hear me, see now it's going to go through the through all the things and try to stop the processes. Um, if anything, see these it stopped some of them. Um, but oh, Apple Mobile Device Service was running. See that. For me personally, though, that application is useless. For me, anyway, for my uses. Um, so, I have updated it on my Google Drive, and um, in the description, you will find a link to that version of the application. And, well, batch file, actually. And if you didn't catch what I said about the administrative privileges, um, it, I set it to have administrative priv privileges so that it would close some of the applications. Like oh, Apple Mobile Device Service.exe, I think, and a few others. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Otherwise, it wouldn't close those. Um, so it just, when I double click on it, it just asks me for my password. Actually, the administrative password. Um, so, yeah. Um, and please um, leave any questions that you might have in the comments section down below. And uh, yeah, this is my first video of 2015. Yeah, um, I just wanted to do a video of some sort. So goodbye.